Uh, <clears throat> I tried making a video on farming last time, but the audio completely screwed up. Uh, so I'm re recording. Uh, on the post I made, it was about the story of a very big dog farm, which turns out is not the best farm. A Reddit user by the name Dix has suggested I try the Comic Con farm with the ID 125. I gave it a run and it was a lot better. So we'll be redoing the video with that farm. Um, basically, 125 is called Comic Con. You can get up by either searching Bricks or just searching 125. It's the uh, bloody Comic Con farm. Hit play, standard rewards. I'm doing this for max um, influence, which means I have XP turned off. If you don't know how to do that, you go to general, go all the way down, and you can disable XP here. Double influence, no XP. Uh, I do this on plus four, plus eight, and with that, we'll start. Um, as you can see, I have 77 million influence, so we'll see how much we have after the run. Uh, as you can see by my bars, I will explain each power after, but the order I have them in is these two both, both boost your attack power, which allows you to use burn, which is a wide AoE. Uh, melt armor and fireball I use is just side clearers. Uh, you'll see for example if I can find a boss, any boss will do, or a lieutenant even. It just absolutely melts them in one cast. Uh, the, build, the build I'm using will be down below. It's nowhere near optimal, but it is the build I use. It's still a huge work in progress. Grab the NPC to uh, aggro some of them. Getting a tiny bit lagging. <laughs> Uh, you don't need to use this many good lucks usually, just I am uh, overzealous as to not mess up while I'm recording. The usual run time for these is between 5 and 8 minutes, it really depends on what you enter with. Uh, your method and your build and play style. I play very slow, naturally anyway, but you still get a really good run time on this. If you can't see down here, per minion we're getting around 10,000 influence, per lieutenant 29,000, and per boss you're getting 90,000 influence skill.
Um, when <clears throat> when power leveling people, you will barely get any uh, inspirations. The more people in the party, if you're doing an entire team of eight, not only past four is there a detrimental return to XP. Uh, you will get near to no inspirations while farming. So if you run the same build I do, I highly suggest stocking up on either Lux. I use good Lux just because, you know, that extra added bonus if you got the influence to throw on it. If not, it's okay. You can do it with normal Lux just as easy. I believe that is a full clear. When you're done, you literally just run over, hit the objective marker, and done. Uh, we started with 70, 77 million influence, so we should see how about how much we burnt now. And this will be an average per run. Again, it's only a few minutes, if that. So if we pull this up. We're up to 84 million. So, that's just an insane amount of run. When you take into account your purple IOs are going to run you in between 10 and 30 mil each, depending on the day of the week. That is just absolutely insane. Um, with that, if you, I will be doing a power leveling video if you want to power level other people yourself. Uh, other than that, thank you for the people who gave me feedback on the original video. And thank you, Homecoming, for giving us a server to plan again. Uh, with the powers, I did say I'd describe them. Spine Burst, I use more as an opener along with Fireball. Fireball, I usually use to root them in. I then use Spine Burst to cause a bit of extra damage while Burn is on cooldown or while the two power-ups on cooldown build up and Fiery Embrace. These up your damage to a substantial amount, so you mix that with Burn and you will nuke groups down extremely quickly. The full build will be in the description. Uh, thank you very much.